move into the uh, estima side now inside that we have i have already made that i have already written that code for getting the country list so we need to just write a function change it's a event we need to implement for getting the value of the id or whatever the value we are getting inside that uh, let's see that on change country event dot target dot value event dot target dot value i am making that event inside a select function select option change on change country event dot target dot value and all right uh code for I'm just copying it and pasting it. Select country. We need to iterate that country data, and we need to show that country data. So we need to call. We need to write a ng4. We need to iterate by using the ng4. Let's see that how we are going to do this. Ng4 for iterating the list of the countries. Ng4 let country of countries. This is the variable inside which we are having the country list inside uh, in our TS side. So I am taking that all things inside the country now. Ng value I am passing it. I am using an ng value so that I am getting the whole value inside the country, and we are getting this value inside our app dot component dot TS. Ng value country and country dot country dot name yes now for uh, for getting the list of the states so I'm copying that function and pasting for states because it's already have made so why we are going to write it again so I'm just changing out some of the well like on state we need to call that event on state on state event dot target dot value now form control name is state okay now ng value state and again let state of let state of states states so in this way we are going inside the ng value i am get, getting the value of whole value of, of states inside the state and state value inside ng value so that we are going to get inside the landing page dot component dot ts side state dot name uh, now from here we are going to show the states name now uh, for showing the cities list so i am having the different like, form control name city and uh, again we need to trade the value of the city so i am copying it and pasting it sorry pasting it now we don't need to make any kind of the event call for this we just simply are going to get the city's name select state sorry i forgot the select state and uh, let city city of cities and ng you can take the ng value or you can take the you can also call the value because we no need to because we are no need to make the ng value city dot id because we just require the id value city dot name No, I actually I forgot. Sorry, I make the wrong function call of the event. So on state, it would be on state. Yeah, that's right. Now this is all set. Now uh, actually we have taken the ng value, so we need to make some kind of changes for showing the ng value values on change countries function. So 
what uh, you can do simply this let let state user user profile i'm just taking uh, variable let user profile this dot eight form dot my form name is at form dot controls dot country <laughs> dot value for getting the value from the ng value we need to do this because i am taking the whole form value so from that form value we just need require a country id now again constant country id and inside that variable i am going to take only the id value from that ng value user dot user profile dot id so in this way this thing is done okay now this dot country code what just a state is iterating the different different values you can do this thing is i'm just doing it to make you understand user dot proper for country code inside my api response i'm having with code also so i'm it i have a thread that also same you have you can also do for the state on state inside on state function now you can see that united states alberta select canada according to canada we are getting going to get the list of states according to canada and cities according to canada so in that way you can do that cascade uh, drop down list is completed so thank you for watching my video please do like my video and please subscribe my channel thank you